Hi, this is Richard Byrne at freetechforteachers.com. In this video, I want to show you how you can create an audio message to post on your blog or website by using AudioPal, which you can find at audiopal.com. Let's go ahead and get started here and click on Get Yours. It's free. And we're going to be presented with a variety of ways that we can create our audio message here. You can call in using your phone and entering a passcode. You can record using your microphone. If you recorded with another program, you can upload your audio file. Or my favorite way here is to use text to speech. Let's type in my message. I'll say, hey kids, it's Mr. Byrne. Remember that your presentations are due on Friday. And I'll use Dave's voice here. We can hear it played back for us. Hi kids, it's Mr. Byrne. Remember that your presentations are due on Friday. Fair enough, I like that. Let's go ahead now and I'll enter my email address. And I'll have the link sent to me so that I can grab the embed code or post it on social media. All right, and so here is the message that I get from AudioPal. And let's go ahead and say, click here to publish your audio. And you can Hi kids, it's Mr. Byrne. Please remember that your presentations are due on Friday. You can have your message automatically play when someone visits your site for the first time by selecting play on load, and you can limit that. Uh, or you can turn it off entirely and require people to hit the play button in the, in the widget in order to hear the message. I find having the automatic playing being kind of annoying, so I turn that off. Now, if I want to put this in my blog or website, you can use one of the links built in here. Or you can grab the embed code here. Let's highlight all of it and copy it to my clipboard. And now I'll paste it into a blog post or the sidebar of my blog, depending on how often I want this message to be seen. All right, so I'm going to put my AudioPal message into a blog post here on Max's blog. So to do that, let's just go ahead and use Blogger and write a new post. And we might title it something like, listen to the reminder. And then we'll paste in the code and publish it. And we can see what that looks like here. And so there's the little play button. The other way we could go about this is we could go down to our layout settings select Add a Gadget, then select HTML Java Gadget, and paste the code in that way. And we'll save that and view the blog. And we can see that the AudioPal widget is now located in the upper right corner of my blog. Now the problem with this is I'll have to update that widget every time I record something new. So I prefer to just put the widget into a new blog post anytime I have something new to share with students. So that's how you can use AudioPal to create audio messages to post on your classroom blog. For more tips and tricks like this, check out freetechforteachers.com.